Hi, this is Scott with HowToBackupYourPC.com, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use a Cronus True Image 2016 to create a backup on your PC. So the first thing, of course, that you need to do is load a Cronus True Image 2016, and if you just installed it on your PC, you'll probably find a desktop icon that you could use. Um, I'm one of those uh, neat freaks, though, and I don't like those, so I'm just going to throw that away. And what I would do is I'd come down here to the Windows Start button, and then click on All Apps, and go to a Cronus True Image 2016. This will load the app. If you click on this, you'll see a bunch of other pieces of software that comes with the Acronis True Image package that you can use. But that's not what we want to do. We want to come in here and click on Acronis True Image 2016. Next thing you want to do, this is the first time you're using it, you want to accept the license agreement. So that's what we're going to do, and then click OK. And now the software will load. And it's going to load by default this uh, entire PC, Scott's HP PC, and normally I would create that uh, backup because that is what's recommended, okay? You should do an entire backup of your entire PC, but for demonstration purposes, we are not going to do that. We're not going to create a backup of the entire PC because we will be here for quite some time. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull up Windows Explorer here, shrink it down so we can have it side by side here just for demonstration purposes for this video. And we're going to create a smaller subset backup, if you will. Okay, so now let's move this over just a little bit more. Sorry about that. Okay, what we want to do is we want to create a backup of this drive right here, drive E. Okay, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a backup of a subset of this drive. And I'm going to bring it up over here just so we can follow along over here. Come into this folder, and then I'm going to just click on Audible Books. Okay, and you can see that that file, um, if we drill down into here, it's really not a lot, right? There's a couple files in there, and actually, uh, Acronis here is going to tell us how big that is. But what we could do if we wanted to know, we could right click on it here and go to Properties, and we can see it's 397 meg. I'm just showing you that just for a reference point. Um, so let's shrink this back down over here. And what we're going to do is we're going to change the name of this job. We're going to rename it. So we click on this down arrow here and do a rename. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to say um, sample backup is what we'll call this. Okay. Of course, I would encourage you to, to do the one that's right there and then uh, select your destination. But what I have connected up here too is an external hard drive. It is 464 gig in size. And that's where we're going to put this back up, okay? 464 gig open, it's really a 500 gig hard drive, but with formatting and some other overhead that's on the uh, drive already, that's what it comes down to, is about 464 gig of open space. So what we need to do now is we're doing this sample backup. Now we need to choose the files that we're going to use. And remember what I said, we came in here to this drive, and then we went to Audible Books, and that's what we're going to back up. So if I come over here and I click on that, in case you didn't notice, I click on the source, change source, click on that. Then I want files and folders because I'm not doing the entire PC and I'm not doing disk partitions. I'm doing files and folders. Then it's on this PC, just like it is over here, this PC. And then it's Data Drive E. So I can come down here to Data Drive E. If I open that and then I click on Scott, you'll see the Audible Books. I can just put a check mark there. If I wanted to back up the entire drive, I would check every box, but I don't want to do that. So I just want to click on this box. Then I'll click on OK. And now you can see it tells us how much we're going to be backing up, which is 397.9 meg in Audible Books. Then we want to select a destination. Now, if you have an Acronis Cloud account, you could click on Acronis Cloud and it would allow you to do that. But we're going to create a local backup to a local USB hard drive, and that's going to be on this drive right here. It's drive H. You can see it's drive H over here. There's 464.9 gig or 465 gig free at this point. We click on that, and it's going to back it up right to there. We click on OK. And then as a... Uh, what you also want to do, I should say, is you want to encrypt your backup. 
Um, maybe not this file, it may not be that big of a deal, but normally what you'd want to do, depending on the data you have, maybe you don't even want to back up, if you're backing up photos, maybe not so much, but if you're backing up financial data, you really want to encrypt that data. So I'm going to click on this encrypt button. And what you have to do is you have to create a password. Now it's very important, as it says here, to remember what that password is that you're creating, because if you don't, you're not getting back into the into this data at all. So I'm going to put a password in here. And then save that. And now all I have to do is click on Backup Now. And it's going to start the backup. You can see up here, last backup time was never. Uh, next backup will be tomorrow and the total size. These will be filled in and populated once this is done. You can see the backup is taking place now and it's calculating the time remaining in this backup. This should be done here momentarily. We're going to pause this video and come right back. And we are done. This will populate here in just a moment with the backup. And that's that's it. It is done. Our backup is done just that quick. Now obviously when we back up the entire PC it's going to be a little bit different. And we also can uh, get into more options in another video. For now though I just want to show you how to create your first backup using Acronis TrueImage 2016. Thank you.